Good morning and welcome to Miami. There are 700 registrants and climbing. We're opening perhaps one of the largest, if not the largest ever, limb lengthening reconstruction meetings that's taken place. And over the last three years, we've had several meetings and culminating in an agreement to hold this as a combined meeting. The leadership of that has been working with me on this meeting, starting with Rob Rosbrook, Sanjeev Sabrawal, and the current president, which is Reggie Hamdi. I can tell you that Reggie Hamdi has put together an unbelievable scientific program. 380 free papers, 60 symposia, 23 invited speakers, that this is an unprecedented scientific exchange that will occur in the next three days. Even to start this meeting required a significant amount of dollars. I went to my own foundation. My own foundation is called the Paley Foundation and its mission actually is medical education and outreach internationally for the treatment of children. Our first speaker is Dr. Svetlana Lazarov. Good morning. Thank you so much for your kind words and uh, inviting me here to share memories of my father. The, uh, I decided to share the, uh, some of the photographs from the family album. Your cumulative work over the last 37 years is worthy of the highest honors, uh, even the Nobel Prize. It all started because of those damned Elizarov hinges. So when I had to put these hinges on, and I came back in 1987, I couldn't figure out where to put the hinge. So I looked for that geometric point. We create solutions. We heal their wounds, we heal their bones, we fill up gaps, we create new tissue. We change their lives. And then nobody said it better than the great Professor Elizaro. It's time for us to pass on the baton to the younger generation for times to come. And one of the instruments we have is our own very journal. May I now call upon, please, Dr. Dror Pelly and Kevin Tetsworth to kindly, ceremonially, inaugurate this journal in front of us all. Please. This is the beginning of a new day for the Limb Lengthening Societies of the world. We've got one new United Society. We have our own journal. Finally, it's my great privilege to invite Professor Reggie Hamdi, President, Chairman of the Scientific Committee of this Congress, to kindly come up and inaugurate the proceedings of the, this Congress as the first supplement of this journal. Thank you very much for giving us the privilege. I didn't do anything, Milen. I just sent you the abstracts. You are a really amazing speaker and a very convincing one. Thank you very much. We were amongst the first people to insert a tibial and femoral lengthening nails in North America. And, uh, we welcome him to the stage and would love to learn something from him this morning. So let's back to 30 years ago. At that time, a great man showed we could do lengthening, extensive lengthening, with no bone graft. Oh. In this setting, in this environment, I thought that at this first combined international meeting of the three society, the international perspective is extremely important. The birth rate in Egypt is 2.4 to 2.6 million births per year. The statistics, 2013. An average consanguinity rate, more than 30%. There is no shortage of amputees in this world. This is a story about that interface and how to improve the efficiency and the potential of the future bionic man. So with that, I'd like to introduce my good friend, Angel. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much uh, for having me here. And um, draw, I don't know what to say, but you're very kind. So, what modalities of osseointegration are there? Um, 
I'll go back to the basic science. There are three dimensional, two dimensional, one dimensional OC integration. To the stage, ladies and gentlemen, please help us welcome to the stage Dr. Nuno Crevera Lopez, president of the ILLRS. Well, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, today I'm happy to see again the whole community of colleagues that deals with the uh, Elizarov technique and all the techniques around it. Thank you very much for the invitation. And uh, the born infected is really a dead born. At this point, Spence Reed will come forward and uh, announce the winners of the various awards for the meeting. So. Well, it's a real honor to be up here at this uh, astonishing meeting uh, and be able to give out the award. It's also rather humbling uh, based on the, uh, both the quantity and the quality of the uh, presentations that have happened. But so the significance of this is that we may be able to use BMP2 to ossify regions that are delayed. The point is lots of ways to quantify things. It's just sort of a systematic way. I'm not so. sure this is the panacea, but hopefully it'll change the natural history of this disease. I'm pretty pleased with my correction. I wanted an MPT of close to 90, 91, and that's what I got. Late onset Blount uh, is defined as Blount disease after age four years. 